everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Cake and Bake Crafts with the Rapid City Public Library. My name's Allie, and today we're going to be making pot of gold twirlers to celebrate Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what we have in our craft kits today. In your Take and Make kit, you should have an instruction booklet, six glue dots, a black piece of paper with a cauldron on it, a yellow piece of paper, a little paper plate, some crayons, and a piece of string. Let's get started. First, we're going to take everything away except for your paper plate and the crayons. And now your first step is you want to color your entire paper plate both on the front and the back. You can choose to color it with the crowns that I've included in your kit, or you can paint it, or you can use markers, or you can use chalk. You can use whatever you want to completely color in your paper plate on the front and the back. So, I chose to use a green marker and colored my paper plate green on the front and the back. So I have my twirler almost ready to go. Next, what you want to do is cut a spiral into your twirler. You can draw it first if you want to, but I'm just going to go ahead, starting here, I'm just going to cut a spiral And the more of a spiral that you get, the better your twirler is going to twirl. So there we go. Now we have a paper plate cut out in a spiral. Our next step is to cut out our cauldron. So I'm going to cut this out really quick and I'll be right back to show you the end. All right, now I have my cauldron cut out and next we need to cut out some gold pieces to put into our cauldron. So we're going to take the yellow piece of paper and we're just going to cut little circles out. You can choose to trace them with the bottle cap or a small circular object, or you can just freehand cut them. I went ahead and cut these out and they're not perfect circles, but that's okay because they're going to be just chunks of gold. So next what you want to do is take your glue dots and we need to put our gold into our cauldron. So we're just going to stick those gold pieces right in the top of the cauldron. Just like that. You can cut out as many gold pieces as you want and you can attach them using your own glue, but we have enough glue dots to attach four pieces. And our last one, the number four. Next, you want to take your spiral cut plate and you're going to take the outside edge of it and just bend it in a little bit, just like that. Now we're going to put a glue dot on that end. like that. So you can see my glue dot on there. And we're going to attach our glue dot to the top back of our cauldron. Just like that. So now you can kind of see how our twirler is going to go. Okay. And our last step is to take a pencil and carefully poke a hole through the center of your twirler. And we're going to take that yellow string and we're just gonna loop it through. And you can just tie it in a double knot to make a loop. 
And that way you can hang up your twirler outside and watch it spin in the wind. And there we go. There are your pot of gold twirlers. All right, guys, thanks for joining me as we made our pot of gold twirlers. You can hang yours outside above your door so it can twirl and spin in the wind. And it makes a really pretty effect when it does that, as you can see. Well, thanks so much for joining me again, my friends. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more crafts and activities from the Rapid City Public Library. And we will see you next time on Wednesday's Fantastic Crafts. Bye, everyone.